You saw what happened to that incredible, beautiful young woman. Should have never happened. Illegally in our country. When some politicians and pundits have refused to listen, Molly Tibbetts' father says he had to ask again. In an op-ed in this weekend's Des Moines Register, Rob Tibbetts renewed his plea to have his murdered daughter left out of the immigration debate. He writes, some have ignored our request. They have instead chosen to callously distort and corrupt Molly's tragic death to advance a cause she vehemently opposed. Tibbetts' statement comes as nervousness and fear grow throughout the small farming region that was Molly's home. Because of the suspected killer's undocumented status, some members of Iowa's Latino community feel threatened. Last week, this graffiti was discovered on the street in Des Moines. Not in our city, responded officials on Twitter, who later painted over the words. A white supremacist group has been calling Iowans with a message spewing hate, calling for a white America in the name of Molly Tibbetts. She was stabbed to death by an invader from Mexico. Another sign of nerves in the Latino community, two local festivals celebrating that culture were postponed. One group cited Tibbetts' murder as the reason for the cancellation. Joe Henry, a local Latino leader, is worried about the troubling climate in this part of the country. Latinos are being threatened uh, both in social media and in neighborhoods. A person came in from Mexico illegally and killed her. We need the wall. We need our immigration laws changed. Some conservatives remain firm in blaming current immigration laws for the fate of this promising 20-year-old. But her father insists Molly was nobody's victim. Do not appropriate Molly's soul in advancing views she believed were profoundly racist, he wrote in his op-ed, nor is she a pawn in others' debate.